Hi there writers, a very warm welcome to Write Your Memoir in 30 Days. My name's Maria Franklin. I'm an author, a poet and a, a creative writing teacher and I'm delighted to bring you this 30 day uh, mini course here on my YouTube channel. So first things first, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. This will ensure that you don't miss a single day over the next uh, 30 days. So each session will be delivered here onto my channel at nine o'clock every morning for the uh, during the month of November 2020. Um, obviously you can take the course a little bit slower if you wish because there's there's lots packed into it. Um, basically the expectation is that you will write around 500 words every day um, follow responding the writing prompts that I'm going to give you and the, uh, the skill development activities to hopefully make you an even better writer than you are already um, with a view to to, um, if you write 500 words every day, by the end of November you will have a very impressive novella-sized 25,000 words. You can of course write more or less um, as time permit, permits you to do. Okay, so no doubt you're here because people have said to you you should write a book. So no doubt there's been something uh, that's happened in your life that's uh, worthy of being uh, documented and got down on paper for the for the rest of the world to see. So this 30 day course is is focusing on memoir which is a slice of life. Um, so something, uh, an event or an episode or a period of time in your life that's worthy of being write it, written about rather than focusing on your life as a whole which would be uh, an autobiography. We don't really have the space within the, the confines of a 30 day course on YouTube to, to really get into a full length autobiography. Um, however, I do have a course. So this, this memoir course here is derived from my year long Write Your Life Story course, which is uh, available on my website, www.mariafranklin.co.uk. So that's uh, started um, being taught in the classroom, then it's moved online. Um, but as things have been the way they are this year, and I'm no longer able to teach face to face, um, it's lovely to be able to, to offer something to other writers in this kind of distance learning way. Um, and uh, it's nice to be able to put something out for free for, for other writers to enjoy as well. So I feel like I'm doing my bit. <laughs> okay, so I really hope you'll enjoy this 30 day challenge. Thank you for joining me. It's wonderful to have your, your writing energy and I hope you're raring to go. Um, I will say, um, prerequisites for this 30 days, um, open yourself a brand new Word document uh, in, on your computer. Um, um, and perhaps give it a title for whatever you're going to focus on. Um, you could also uh, buy yourself a, a lovely A4 sized hardback notebook to write in. I do think handwriting is the best way of doing your first draft. It's just a much more lovely creative process but if you prefer to work straight onto the computer that's absolutely fine. Um, I would also say carry a notebook around with you at all times. You never know when a memory is going to pop into your head or um, you, go, you have an interesting conversation perhaps perhaps with a family member who reminds you of something that you need to include in your memoir. So you want to be in the habit of capturing thoughts and memories and ideas. Um, and once you get into the swing of writing, you'll find that they come to you quite readily. Uh, it's really exciting. Okay, so let's get started. Let's dive in. Um, so, um, Let's have a think first about why people write about their, their own lives. Um, so it could be um, as therapy, um, and I'll give my, uh, my memoir uh, a flash on the screen, don't call me mum. 
so this is my memoir and this was definitely for therapy why I wrote it but in doing that it's helped lots of other people as well so win-win uh, so it might be that that might be the reason could be just escapism and creativity uh, the enjoyment of recapturing a moment or a, a time in your life you might want to pass on a story to pass on wisdom or lessons learned you might want to set the record straight in which case you might be wanting to think about changing names of your characters but we'll come on to that in uh, on day two when we look at, um, at characters um, you might be wanting financial gain which is absolutely wonderful and there's nothing wrong with admitting to that you might want to write your memoir and get it out there for people to buy and make lots of money um, you might want to offer a snapshot of uh, an era, so perhaps if you're writing um, uh, about um, a, a decade in the past, for example, or you might want to offer this a snapshot of a, a different perspective. Perhaps you've done an interesting job or, or done something that lots of people wouldn't have done. You might just want to get something down to leave something of yourself behind, because obviously books hopefully last forever. They're always around and so it's copies of them on people people's bookshelves and on people's Kindles nowadays as well. So think about why you're wanting to write your memoir, why you're wanting to write autobiographically um, and keep that in mind because this will keep you going over the next month. Um, and also I really advocate reading um, memoirs of other writers so whether they're somebody famous or just a niche that you're interested in I do think that that act of reading really does infiltrate into your own writing and just makes you a better writer full stop um, so ones written by celebrity will offer a unique kind of angle on their on their world uh, a non-celebrity can offer a unique angle on a, on a, on a particular experience um, okay so let's now think about what makes an autobiography interesting I'm going to get you writing soon don't you worry uh, so triumph over adversity that's one kind of, um, of of memoir you could write and who doesn't love that sort of story where there's been triumph over adversity something inspirational that's happened to you um, and it could be something that causes the reader of your memoir to take action in their in their own life it could be a journey you've been on that doesn't need to be a physical journey obviously some kind of journey where you've had a transition um, from uh, beginning to end um, relatability so if we can relate to a story it can be uh, cathartic and and be more interesting uh, so my uh, memoir don't call me mum I've I've aimed it at other mums who've got um, sort of difficulties with ADHD uh, children and uh, they find so they've got that relatability factor to it so the addressing of an issue as well particularly when it's been overcome um, as in the case of, of my book it can help a reader feel less alone uh, in something that they're experiencing it can also your memoir can just provide insight to your readers in, into your unique situation whatever it may be and let's face it we're all human and we're all nosy um, it can show as I've already mentioned a place or an era that might be of interest uh, to your reader uh, particularly if it's offering atmosphere or description of somewhere um, that the reader would normally be able to experience for themselves so think about what angle you're going to take so I should have said right at the beginning of this video you'll always need pen and paper when you're when you're going through the videos because obviously um, there's lots of content you might want to make a few notes obviously you can bookmark any of these videos and return to them at any time and there's particular ones where that might be helpful such as character and setting so I'll, I'll let you know as and when I think you should save a video because you might need to return to it but play it as many times as you want uh, and take as many notes as you want obviously so think about what's going to make your memoir interesting um, before we embark on the uh, the planning process what's unique about the the memoir you're going to write over the next month so now I'm going to offer you some questions to really get you thinking about this uh, notebooks and pens at the ready uh, so firstly what unique experiences and events have you lived through yourself? 
um, and if somebody said to you you should write a book which is what we started this video with why have they said that okay so make some notes on that question two what places have you visited or lived that others might be interested in so have a think about that for a few moments remember these are just introductory questions you can add to them at any time if anything occurs to you Number three, what people in your life so far have had the most impact on you? So this might give you a starting point as well for your memoir. Number four, have you got a motto that you'd like to pass forward to others? It could be something as simple as don't give up. Um, and this will um, this will form kind of the central tone of the, of the memoir you're about to write. Um, so I think mine is probably everything changes, it will pass, that kind of message. Um, and thinking about what sort of books you enjoy reading, because that might form the tone of the memoir that you're going to write. So if you if you write romances, it might be that you focus on a romantic kind of memoir, um, or it could be family, or it could be crime or um, adventure. So have a think about what you like to read and that might just inform the tone of the memoir you're going to write. And then lastly, who would you want to read your book? So even at this early stage, who's going to be your audience? Is it going to be uh, people of a particular age, of a particular gender, with a particular background? Are you writing it just for yourself, which is great, and I highly encourage that, or perhaps your family and friends, or do you want to get it out into the world? So have a think about your audience just before you get started. Right, okay, let's get you writing, because that's obviously what you're here for. Um, so I'm going to give you some writing prompts just to get you going uh, today. Um, so you might be able to bring these into scenes once you get going with your uh, actual memoir but this today is day one I just want to get you writing so don't get too hung up on these. So I've actually got five writing prompts for you. Now obviously you've only got today so don't feel you've got to respond to all five. You might want to write all five down and just keep coming back to them. That's absolutely fine. So I'm going to give you five writing prompts to so choose one or choose all five. So the first First one, who was your best childhood friend? So these are all about childhood and write about what you did together. Second one, describe a favourite childhood toy. What feelings does it bring up when you think about it now? Uh, next one, what childhood event made you feel anxious or scared? Uh, next one, describe some wisdom or advice given to you as a child. Have you passed it on? And lastly, did you have any family traditions? So obviously just expand on uh, one or all of those writing prompts uh, a little bit and uh, and enjoy that that's the biggest message i can give for you this this 30 day writing challenge is in enjoy it it's not work you're here because you want to be you've brought your wonderful uh, creative self um here to youtube i'm really looking forward to uh, spending the the next 30 days with you at nine o'clock every morning but obviously like i say go at your own pace uh, with with this this mini course uh, any questions comments or feedback there's a comments box just be below this video screen so so do post in i love to hear how you're getting on and what your opinions are of things um, so i'll see you tomorrow for day two and it might be advantageous um so it hopefully you know allow some space give some thought to what what it is you're going to write which episode which period of your life it might be advantageous to start digging out some photographs so but more on that tomorrow okay so thanks again i'll see you tomorrow bye for now